Hi, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to show you how to connect the Vitals Bridge 300 mainstream unit to a Philips mainstream capnography patient monitor. Before beginning this video, I connected my Vitals Bridge to my laptop via a USB cable. I plugged in the USB cable here and the other end directly into my laptop. If you want to connect via Ethernet cable or Bluetooth, both are options as well. You can connect via Ethernet cable by plugging in here and then plugging directly into your laptop, or you can connect to your laptop via Bluetooth the same way you would connect to any other Bluetooth device. You can also operate the Vitals Bridge from a mobile, an Android mobile device or tablet. To control the Vitals Bridge on your laptop or other electronic device, you're going to need to download the Vitals Bridge software, connector software. The Vitals Bridge connector software can be found on vitalsbridge.com downloads for laptops, or if you're using a mobile device or tablet, you can download it from the Google Play Store. Once you have your Vitals Bridge connected and your software up and running, we're ready to start connecting. The first thing we're going to connect is our SPO2 probe. The SPO2 probe for this Philips monitor looks like this. You've got one end that plugs into your patient monitor and one end that has a finger probe. Take the end that plugs into the patient monitor and snap it into place where it says SPO2. Then just to make sure everything is working properly, put the probe on your finger and you should see a reading of the SPO2 level, the pulse, and a SPO2 waveform appear on your monitor. And there it is. Everything looks like it's working well. So let's set this aside for just a moment and we'll pull out our oximeter adapter which came with the Vitals Bridge. The oximeter adapter is a small gray box and a cable that has two matching ends. Take one end of the cable and plug it into the oximeter box where it says SPO2 port Vitals Bridge. Then take the other end and plug it in to your Vitals Bridge unit where it says SPO2. Once you have that plugged in, take the SPO2 probe and place it on this white finger here. After a minute, it will initialize on your patient monitor and you should see the SPO2 reading, the pulse rate, and the waveform. And it looks like everything is working awesome. If your patient monitor reading on your SPO2 is not the same thing as what you've put in your Vitals Bridge connector software, that's really easy to fix. Just come to the configuration tab of the Vitals Bridge software and run a calibration. Instructions for the, running the calibration can be found on vitalsbridge.com. Just to make sure that everything is working the way that I want it to be working, I'm gonna adjust my heart rate down to 60, or I guess I'm adjusting it up to 100. Once it's been adjusted, we'll wait for it to adjust here and it looks like everything is working as it should be. So I'll bring that back down to 80. And we can move on to connecting our carbon dioxide. So this Vitals Bridge has been configured to work with a mainstream capnography machine, which is what we're going to be connecting today. However, a lot of machines do use side stream capnography. The Vitals Bridge can be configured to work with side stream capnography. For help on how to configure that, please contact support at vitalsbridge.com. So the cable that connects to our capnography, it looks like this. You have one end that goes into the patient monitor and another end that has a little box. The end that goes into the patient monitor is going to slide in right here where it says CO2. And then we're going to take this end with the box and we're going to attach the box to an adapter that comes with the Vitals Bridge. The adapter looks like this. You'll slide that in and you'll connect this end of the adapter to where it says CO2 out. In order to get a CO2 reading, you're also going to need a carbon dioxide source. I already have one set up. This carbon dioxide source is a Vitals Bridge carbon dioxide canister. I connected it via this tube to the part that says CO2 in, and then I turned on the regulator to be between 15 and 20 PSI. If you want to use a wall CO2 source, you're welcome to do that as well. Just talk to your facilities manager and make sure everything's at the proper pressure. You can see we've got this beautiful CO2 waveform and an ETC reading, which is exactly what we want. You can control that ETC reading 
here from the Vitals Bridge Connector software. You can also control the shape of your CO2. You'll notice how the number that I have plugged into my connector software doesn't exactly match the number that I see on the patient monitor. That's okay. It's another thing that's really easy to fix via calibration. So you'll again come up to this configuration tab and once you're there you can perform a CO2 calibration. Again, instructions for how to perform those calibrations can be found on vitalsbridge.com. If you'd like to control any of your vital signs on your monitor from a simulator, if you come here to the simulator tab of your Vitals Bridge connector software, any simulators you currently have running will appear in this box. I have one running on my laptop and I can connect to that by clicking laptop and connect. And once it's successfully connected, we'll be able to see all the vital signs which are coming in from the software. To control the Vitals Bridge from the software, you'll then come to the simulator and you can control each of the vital signs here. In or you'll notice, however, though, when I connected the simulator, I lost all of my readings. To fix that, you just come into the simulation software and you tell the software by clicking on one of these little check boxes that you have different vital signs connected. So if you have your carbon dioxide attach your SPO2, if you were gonna connect an ECG cable or temperature cables, once you have those boxes checked, It'll take just a minute to run through the connector software, but then we should begin to see readings again. Well, that's how you connect your Vitals Bridge 300 to a Philips mainstream unit. Good luck.